she's independent enough now to carry her own backpack and roll her own suitcase through the airport. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya. And today we just want to show you guys how we are going to pack Zaya's bag. She is going on a little weekend trip to Boston, yes, she's gonna go visit some family. My parents are taking her. I'm actually not going with them, so I am going to pack her bag, hopefully in a nice organized way so that Grammy and Papa can easily find your stuff while you're gone since I'm not gonna be there. So you grab your suitcase, can you pull your suitcase out and pull it all out and put it on top of your bag? So my suitcase has LOLs on it and right here it says, we run the world. You like the suitcase? You were actually gifted this in PR. Didn't it come with like some LOL dolls in it or something? Yeah, it came with toy, LOL doll toys in it. Cool. Okay, so this is gonna be her bag. It's just like carry-on size. She's only going for four days, just kind of like a long weekend, so we don't need to pack too, too much. And then she's also going to bring this backpack. That Grammy decorated from a pink backpack. Yeah, Grammy took this plain pink backpack and she cricketed all the graphics on it. And what does it say? Are we there yet? And it says world traveler. So this is like a small little backpack. It's like her perfect size for her to actually carry herself, which is important. She's independent enough now to carry her own backpack and roll her own suitcase through the airport. They are flying by the way. So we're gonna specifically pack this little backpack so that she has everything she needs on the plane. <laughs> Let's clear out the extra stuff first. I found glasses. Mm -hmm. You gonna bring those? Yeah. No? Why not? So those are the two main bags that we're gonna be packing. On top of that, Zaya also has her own little set of packing cubes. This is just to help keep everything organized inside the suitcase. So it came as a set of six different little pouches to separate your stuff into. They're just like different sizes of zipper pouches, some that are more like the perfect shape for shoes, bigger pouches to put a lot of clothes in. So we're gonna start picking out her outfits. I'm gonna let Zaya pick out her looks because she's old enough to do that now but she's going to boston i wanted to check the weather and make sure what the temperature is really going to be like it looks like it's going to be like a low of like 50 degrees high of like 70 75 degrees so it's not like too too cold we don't need like full winter gear but just want to keep that in mind obviously what do you want to start with five outfits one pair of pajamas five pairs of underwear socks let's start with five pairs of underwear that's easy Let's just do four pairs of socks. And then let's pick out one set of pajamas to bring. Probably pick some that are kind of like, yeah, like, yeah, long sleeve warm. Okay, so now we can pack that stuff up into its own zipper pouch. That way it's separated and you can easily get to it. So socks, underwear, and pajamas can all go in here. So this is your underwear, socks, and pajamas. And you can use these for your actual clothes. So now let's pick out your actual outfits. You have some stuff in here, some stuff in the drawers. You're probably gonna mostly wanna do like leggings, t-shirts. Let's pick out your nicest leggings that don't have any holes or any stains. Is that pair good? Two more if you're gonna do all leggings. So now what shirts are you gonna put with each pants to match them together? Let's lay out what we have so we can see. We have pink pants, purple, gray, floral print, rust. Now you need the five shirts that go with each pants. Okay. 
Okay, so we have your five outfits. You're gonna be there for four days. The reason why I had you pick out five outfits is because we're gonna set one outfit aside and we're actually gonna pack it in your carry-on backpack so you have it with you on the airplane just in case you need a change of clothes for any reason. If you spill something on yourself, have an accident, get sick, remember how we had problems with that before? <laughs> so it's always good to have an extra pair of clothes with you, easy to access on the plane. So this will be that outfit. So we're gonna set this one aside, pack that later, but all these we can put in your suitcase. If we were doing like a beach trip and she had swimsuits and a bunch of other things, I would probably separate her swimsuits into their own pouch, regular clothes into their own pouch, stuff like that. But for this trip, she pretty much just has all these like casual clothes that go together. So we'll just use the big pouch for that, like that. But it does sort of help keep them organized and folded and lined up how you want it. Boom. Since you are going to a cooler climate, you're gonna want your little jackets and sweaters. So I would pick out which one you wanna wear on the airplane on top of what you're wearing now. Just something kind of light and comfortable. You don't need like a heavy coat. That's the one you wanna wear on the plane. Okay, and then can you also pick out a heavier one that you can just pack in your suitcase in case it gets colder when you get there. So that black one will probably be good, just in case you need something a little heavier. I don't think you need your full winter coat that we have downstairs. I think this should probably be enough. Zaya's closet really needs to be organized and I think I'm actually gonna do a video on that, so stay tuned. All her stuff is sort of jumbled up and she's growing out of her clothes so fast, half the stuff doesn't fit her anymore. So we need to do like a whole overhaul. I'm wondering if she should pack a little dress just in case, like if they end up going to like a nicer restaurant or something. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have it, might as well, right? Rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. So we'll just throw this in. Toiletries? Toiletries is the name of all of your little bathroom products, like toothpaste, lotion, face wash, all that type of stuff is called toiletries because you use it in the toilet. <laughs> Not in the toilet, literally, but in the bathroom. Maybe they should just call it bathroom stuff. Okay, bathroom stuff. Okay, this is her bathroom stuff bag because she doesn't want to call it toiletries. So you hold that. As y'all can see, I washed and combed Zaya's hair this morning so that it would be nice and prepped for her trip. I wanted to do a hairstyle that would hopefully just last throughout the trip and not really need to be restyled or anything because Grammy is not great at combing hair and I don't want her to have to worry about that. So we washed and styled her hair. That should be good to go. So we shouldn't really need to pack too many hair supplies. I think I'm just gonna pack her little edge brush, some edge control, just to sort of touch up her edges. That'll probably be the most that she needs. Let's maybe throw in a few rubber bands in case any of her rubber bands break and need to be redone. I'm just gonna put them in like that. Is there any hair accessories that you just wanna bring? Add that in there. Grab one of those little mini toothpastes. Grab a couple of your flossers. That's good. Boom. So in here in my glam room, in this extra guest bathroom, I recently organized this linen closet to include all these little mini toiletries, which are good for if I have guests coming over and they need something, but also super clutch for travel. So I'm actually just going to pack Zaya a fresh toothbrush. I know there's two in here, but whatever. I'm just gonna pack the whole thing. This little mini toothpaste looks like it's running out, so I'm gonna pack her a fresh thing of toothpaste. Also some body wash, some lotion. We're gonna grab one of these packs of antibacterial wipes to throw in her carry-on to take on the plane. So she doesn't need too many toiletries. She doesn't have an intensive skincare routine or anything like that. So this one little bag works perfectly fine. We're gonna put this in the suitcase like this. I think that's it for what's going in her suitcase. So we didn't end up needing to use 
all of these different pouches but it does come as a set like i said it comes in handy if you have a lot of different types of things that you're packing so if you guys are interested in this set of packing cubes i have it saved to my amazon storefront you can scan the qr code or you can click the link in the description box okay now we gotta pack her carry-on so grammy actually bought you this she saw it on pinterest it is going to be your activity case. So it's actually a toiletry bag. She just doesn't need all these different zipper pouches for her toiletries, but something like this is going to come in handy for your activities, your entertainment, your in-air entertainment, if you will, because you have all these different pouches where you can put like your pencils, your markers, your little games, all your little stuff so it can be organized fold it up, it fits in your bag, and then it has the little hook on it so you can hook it onto the back of the seat in front of you when you're on the plane. You can hook it on and you can see all your stuff and easily get to it when you're on the plane. So we have some stuff here. So let's see, you have some books, coloring books. Maybe we'll bring a couple of pencils. Markers in here, pencils, and then for this part, your little activity books, coloring books. These ones should hopefully. And like that. Boom, perfect. You're gonna be in charge of keeping up with your own stuff, so you gotta know how to close it up and put it away. So let's see if you can figure out how to do it on your own. tighten it too Tighten. so it stays down like that okay so now let's put this inside of your backpack let's put it in the biggest section perfect and then we still have space and all these other extra pockets in your backpack to pack extra stuff like these wet ones can go in here like that just in case you need to wipe your hands or wipe anything down and you have extra space for your baby doll stuff keep in mind too you want to bring your ipad right yeah so you have to download something and your headphones this case is a little bulky but let's see if we can fit it in here oh it fits the headphones you might have to do like this to hold them through the airport that works right pajamas Let's maybe pick one bottle. Which one? That one. Okay. <laughs> this is quickly turning into the diaper bag. Speaking of which, we have one diaper. I think that's appropriate. Put it in here. Then you have a whole set of baby toiletries. She has more toiletries than you do. So which toiletries does she really, really need? Let's maybe pick Wipes. two. And maybe cream. One snack is good, yogurt. Yeah, really have Let's pick one hair accessory. I like this one. The bib is fine, I think. Can we fit both of these outfits? You're bringing that too? It's your favorite toy. That's all the baby stuff in here. So here's the thing, you're gonna be carrying all your own stuff. This is already a little heavy. I think you can still carry it. Here, put that on, see how that feels. Then you're gonna have your headphones around your neck. Then you're gonna have your suitcase in your hand, rolling it. And then you wanna have your baby. So these little extra little things that you're also trying to carry, I don't think that's gonna work because you can barely carry that. This is gonna be easy to drop and lose. So maybe we should put it in the suitcase? You can put it in your suitcase, but you won't have it on the plane. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that you wanna take out of your backpack and put in your suitcase because you don't need it on the airplane? Yes. Yeah. That's a good compromise. So we'll put this in the suitcase. We are going to give the baby her own packing cube so that she can have her stuff in the suitcase. What do you need for her on the airplane versus what can go in the suitcase? This is what I had to do when I took you on trips when you were a baby. I had to think, what am I gonna actually need to use on the airplane that I actually need to carry with me. She just needs her snack on the airplane. In the bottle. In the bottle, okay. So she can have something to eat. Okay, so let's zip that up and put that in your suitcase. And just sit it there, perfect. 
So the last thing we need to pack in her carry-on, the last two things are her emergency clothing kit and her snacks. So for the extra outfit, I like to put it in a gallon Ziploc bag. Number one, it just sort of helps keep it together. But number two, if she does end up messing up her clothes, she can put her dirty clothes in here and sort of keep it separate in case they're like wet or something like that. So it's always good to have the gallon bag and we're gonna put this in here and then we're also gonna pack you some snacks. So let's pick out what you want from the pantry. So we're also gonna pack the snacks in a bag. So just do a few. You can't fit too much in your backpack and you really don't need too much. This is a little bulky and it's gonna get squished. We gotta do stuff that's easy for the plane and not too messy and not too bulky. So these are perfect. These little fruit strips, nice and flat and portable. Just the Z bar, you don't want the Nutrigrain bar. So that should be plenty. We sort of did two of everything so that you can have some on the way there and some on the way back. All right, now let's hope we can fit all of this into this little backpack. Make sure we get all the air out of the bags. Vacuum seal it. We want this to be easy access just in case. And of course we want the snacks to be easy access as well. I think we'll just barely fit. Perfect! It's a little full, but I think it'll work. Okay, Grammy and Papa are here. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> One last thing. She's also bringing her hooded blankie. <laughs> I need to get me one of those. Travel blankie. Uh, that's a good blankie. So that way you don't have to worry about carrying it. It'll just be on you and you can have a blankie on the plane. How about that? That's good. That's good. <laughs> you got your headphones, your backpack, your suitcase, your sweater, your blankie. Shoes on. You should be good to go. Bye. Hey have fun. All right. Bye, Zaya. You're not gonna tell me bye? She didn't want me to kiss. Bye, see you later. Have fun, be good. <laughs> She's out of here. Bye. Bye. bye.